Hey folks, Jeff, Green Country Custom Baits. Uh, coming back at you with a crawl pattern painting video today. And this is one you're not gonna wanna miss out. So, now let's get right to it. All right, so lure's been prepped, Bill's tape. We're gonna do a white base coat. Just apply a fairly thin coat all the way around. We're shooting about 30 to 35 PSI. <clears throat> Do a little heat set in between. Okay, trying a different camera angle here as well, so let me know what you think. This is kind of an overhead attached to my phone, or to my paint booth. And, uh, so there's our base coat of white, and that's how this, this pattern's going to start. Uh, next color up, so we're going to cover the entire bait with a canary yellow. And we're going to reduce pressure just a little. <clears throat> Just under 30. And it doesn't matter on the top. You can see it's a little bit lighter on the top. I just want a good... Dark yellow side. Might hit this one, even it up just a little bit. All right, so our next color up is a uh, burnt sienna which is kind of a brown, orangish brown. To me, it's one that <clears throat> represents that bandit spring crawl the best, but at the same time, let's get one right there where you can see it good. And we're gonna shoot that through our mesh. And we just want, and you don't have to do this in a scaled pattern, but I usually do, even though it is a crawfish pattern. Okay, so there's a look at our burnt sienna. Let's do one more here. What we're doing here is just kind of lighting it up, getting a little more coverage over the top.
filling in those scales just a little bit. And then again, this is just to represent the old bandit spring crawl. Okay, so our next color up is we're going to go right down the, the back of this lure uh, with a dark brown. So a couple of the last steps we're going to do is add our crawl pattern to it. And this is just one I've cut out of, I believe this is out of an overhead projector sheet, just a thin piece of plastic. And I'm going to line that point up with the bottom of the lip there and spray more onto the stencil than I do onto the bait and angle it. Pull back and do a little bit of shading right there. Now for the tail segments, I like to use this little J cut here and You kind of keep that uniform as we go. I'm leaving overlapping right here just about an eighth of an inch. Four segments, make sure you wipe your stencil off. And we'll do the other side. And just reverse the same procedure, flip your stencil over, get your line up. eyes on the crawl patterns. Now we're going to come back with uh, some FX texture sheets. Uh, these are great for crawl patterns. Uh, I like to use these little small ones. We're going to add a little bit of our dark brown. bit of that into these crawl segments. Just to kind of break that up. Same thing this other side. we have change the position of this to our tail segment and our exacto knife handle we're gonna add a little fluorescent orange to that front hook hanger heat set A 
folks, there you have the uh, Green Country Custom Bait rendition of the old bandit, bandit spring crawl. Great, great pattern. Uh, not only spring, but even right now, this is December. Well, about to be December. Just after Thanksgiving break here, and uh, I'll be ready to throw some of these. We're going to put some of these online, so if you're interested in this, uh, definitely contact me through my website at www.greencountrybaits.com. Uh, and I hope you enjoy the content. Let me know what you think of the camera angle here. Um, trying a few different things. Trying to get you guys a better up-close shot. And um, This old GoPro's been giving me fits, so let me know what you think. And, uh, you know, one thing that you can do on some of these is add some uh, details right there on the belly of the bait. But this is the way I like this pattern. Um, Thank you, and uh, we'll see you next Saturday.